Hello everyone, my name is Sick. Welcome back to State of Decay 2, where we are playing on Dread difficulty. Uh, it's been brought to my attention, and I've noticed it myself as well, that my recent videos have not been very smooth, and I have been a little bit laggy or choppy. I'm trying to fix that. I'm not entirely sure what causes it. Uh, but I'm trying some different recording settings, and I will be trying some different processing vi uh, settings after this recording is done as well and hopefully that will eliminate the problem the game actually runs really smooth i'm up around 90 fps right now so like that really should not be the problem but if you missed what we were doing last time i have done a quest bit for the prepper ant quest line which hopefully will give us some nice items and resources and you might notice, of course, that we have moved base locations. We are now located on this bridge, which is just a really cool location. I have, I have not really played this map before. And this is the first time I've seen a unique base like this, which is actually really cool. We have this river flowing underneath. It's very nice. We also have a watchtower on that side and a watchtower on this side. Which actually does mean that we are consuming quite a lot of ammo. Uh, so that is something that we might want to check. I might start looking for outposts today. We need ammo outposts for sure. Uh, materials we have plenty of. Food is a little bit of an issue, but we have a farm which gives us plus two. We have a large slot farm this time. Uh, unfortunately, we don't have water, so we cannot actually uh, upgrade it to the next level. But we have enough beds for everyone. We can upgrade this into sheltered beds as well, which will provide an extra bed as well as facility mod slots. And we do have some items which might be of use uh, as facility upgrades. But I'm going to need to check those out in a bit. Now one downside to this location is we are currently in between several plague hearts and i'm hoping that it's not going to bite us in the ass later now we as our story goal we need to promote a leader but for a leader to be elected someone needs to become a hero or have maxed out their standing uh, so unfortunately that is not going to be a thing today but let us take control of william here right now because he is uninjured And then we might as well start looking around the map to see if we can make an outpost somewhere. I'm not entirely sure how much uh, influence we have right now. 774. That should be enough to start an outpost. Uh, let's see. We have cavern, corner store. I don't know if we have seen the military checkpoint, ammo collection. Yes, this is something that we might want to grab. Alternatively, let's see what else is around us. We haven't scouted this area yet. We don't really know anything here so far. We could go to a, the trader, but we don't really have that much influence to trade. So I'm just going to go ahead and grab a vehicle, move over to the military checkpoint, and I'm going to turn that into our first official outpost so that we can, uh, well, save a little bit on ammo costs. Because, yeah, these two uh, sniper towers basically uh, costs us two ammo a day, and that is not great. Oh. Well, unfortunately as well, this car no longer has any uh, doors left, so we cannot hit zombies, we will just have to evade them. I don't remember if I have a toolkit or not. I'm pretty sure I do. We do get occasionally a little dip, but overall, like the game really runs at a constant of 60 uh, frames per second or higher, so the video really should be smooth and it's just down to settings. Well, now I am being a little bit uh, uncontrolled here. There's a lot of zombies that I just alerted within this plague zone area. And that does unfortunately mean. I can't really secure this place with a plague heart so close by. Ah, I see. All right, they're coming over here. I lost my train of thought. <laughs> um, but yeah, it does. Ah, that's that's it. It does mean that this plague heart is more likely to wake up 
and that is not great. It's actually inside of the Armwell gun shop as well, so we're taking that out. Uh, we could even get this as an outpost and upgrade it to learn chemistry. But that is definitely going to be a goal. We have nearby survivors who are neutral, but we could use them in a fight. I just need the right materials to combat this outpost. So we need grenades, we need molotovs. We do actually have in our base a workshop. Um, this also generates one materials per day and that's us craft fuel bombs. Right, because right now we can only repair and salvage weapons. So what can we produce? Craft soda can bombs. Uh, pipe bombs actually require power. We don't have that as an option. So um, as a mod, we only have the white noise machine, which would be great for the sheltered beds, but currently we don't have a use for that. But let us upgrade actually our workshop to level two. Uh, take some circuitry, but we will actually get materials back. Currently we have minus one materials per day because of maintenance to the farm. So actually having that will be very useful indeed. I don't remember. I think I got everything here. It's pretty much empty. Yeah. Is there anywhere else that we could go for weapons and materials? This looks like a decent sized town, but we've got a plague heart right in the center. Got a water tower. Like this would be, this is definitely a plague heart number one to take out. We are going to make an effort into that. But the leads concrete silo. Hmm. I don't think we're going to get too much useful stuff from here, but we might as well go ahead and scout out this area. I want to play examples. We could actually make that work. Yeah, let's go ahead and make that our official mission of the day. Then we'll search it down and hope that we get some useful materials. Well, this car is very banged up. I do need to be a little bit quiet because the plague heart is right there. And I'm following this marker which again magically popped up and I don't know why. It's just really annoying. Alright, but this, this is nice. Oh crap. Come on. definitely use this as a, a perfect start to our uh, to our defense or attack on the plague heart I should say we do have this uh, thing over here which explodes on contact it's a bloater uh, that is really terrible three plague samples yeah if that thing explodes on us basically we are going to be uh, in trouble because it's going to damage our health, it's going to damage our stamina, it's going to take our character out of the fight a bit. And overall it's just very tricky to deal with. Unless you give it a headshot, it's going to explode very close to you. If you shoot it in the stomach, it's going to explode. It's not great. Oh, we have an armored zombie here as well. Definitely need to be quiet here. I see the plague heart as well. But we can't take it out without Molotov cocktails or things like that. Right, so that is one plague sample. This guy probably doesn't even get the blood plague though. Luckily it goes down as easily as any of the other zombies. Right, we'll have a scrounge around. We'll try to take out some of these plague zombies as well to get the plague samples we'll make some friends these guys will defend themselves uh, but we might be able to trade for some useful weapons or better explosives than that we can craft so that would definitely be very nice if we could manage that yeah so that will definitely be the goal here uh, if not today then another day to take out this plague zone or this plague heart and with that we take out this plague zone 
and then we can start making some outposts we can uh, make sure that our materials and other resources uh, last us for longer crap you gotta make sure it's dead all right i'll take that one out as well there we go Unfortunately, it doesn't seem like the plague samples are dropping very quickly, <laughs> so that is unfortunate. Now, food, we can definitely grab a little bit more food here, so we'll search this building. We might find some more zombies around and inside. And when we do, that will be great, because they might drop some plague samples. Oh, how did you see me? Or was it just like a random turn? It seems like it was a random turn. All right, we're not dodging both of them. Attacking the wrong way, definitely not good. Yeah, we'll see if we can get some food out of this. In the meantime, I'm going to kill some more plague zombies. Alright, time to see what we can find. Energy drink, I'll take it, why not? Really hoping for some bigger backpacks as well. This guy has the only 8 slot backpack in our group so far, I think. Yeah, he does. So that is a little bit uh, unfortunate, but that is pretty standard in the early game anyway. We'll have to find some more later on. We might actually find in this bigger, these bigger containers, they might hold the special rucksacks with resources. Ooh, I'm gonna bag find. of fiber splodes. High trade value. Alright, we can trade that with an enclave. That would be nice. And that is about all we can find here, and we have no food. That is terrible. What else can we find here? Jolly Collie Tavern. We'll uh, have a look for that one as well. It's pretty quiet here. There's not that many zombies, actually. Oh, oh boy. Let's take him out. There we go. Took off an arm, but things didn't go quite as fast as I hoped. <laughs> nice. All right, that is what we're looking for now. We will search for the rest as well. I cannot carry everything, of course, but at least I will know if it's here or not, and I can come back for it later when I need it more. All right, jugs of ethanol, definitely going to take that. It is, after all, a upgrade material. So we would need it for upgrading certain uh, buildings. We have one more space that we can search here, but I don't see it inside. Maybe it's outside, I guess. That happens sometimes. Or maybe it's upstairs. All right, I'll keep having a little look around. We have nothing up here. All right then. I have another zombie. Now for sure, if we kill the plague heart, we will get plague samples from that as well. So that is not an option for us of getting them. But it also really increases the risk of getting blood plague ourselves because of the amount of zombies that will come streaming in and attacking me in defense of the plague heart. And then I really need it as a medicine for my own. So if I don't have to, I would prefer not to uh, use the plague hearts uh, samples for, uh, for this quest. <laughs> But it just depends on how much I have patience for. There we go. Of course, this also serves the purpose of leveling up my character. We get discipline from this. And we still have some ways to go. So, I don't mind it, per se. But, yeah, this is definitely going to be an issue. I'll just uh, keep going through town and I'll kill zombies where I can. Uh, and I'll drop off this f bag of medicines over at the car so we can take some other useful materials later. 
Alright, I'm running into a screamer pretty close by. He's right on the other side of this wall, but I am in a pretty good position to sneak up on him, though we have some other plague zombies moving around as well. I need to take care of. This wall, however, provides some excellent cover. I just hope this thing doesn't turn, because this one always has crazy animations. It always looks like he's looking over his shoulder and he has like a super large uh, field of view, but he actually has like a field of view similar to nearly everyone else in the game. So, right, the guy's looking away. Of course, this also gives us some influence, which is always great because we use it to buy things, to build things, or to uh, recruit members into our community. Oh, what? Okay, there we go. And still no other plague samples, so we will continue on our merry way, killing as many of these bowers as I can. In the meantime, however, you might have noticed the big backpack on my back. Uh, I have found some fuel that we will take back to base as well. So that's nice. Still nothing. Oop. This is I was going to go into another segment of the video. I got attacked by this guy. <laughs> I almost missed it. Or I missed part of it. You'll see the charge and the resolution in the video, but yeah, I, I kind of missed the moment we actually got found out by this guy. Ah, crap. Alright, so we got a little bit of butt plague infection. It's not a huge deal. The bar needs to fill all the way up for it to, to really become a problem. But it's definitely not great either. Now, we do also have this car over here, and I would really like to check out to see if it has any fuel left. I don't think so. Oh, it has a bit. Oh, interesting. We have a police car. Unfortunately for us, it doesn't really have a lot of storage, so it's not great for that. But we'll gra grab the coffee, we'll grab the smoke grenades, because, well, we're here. We might as well. I'll take all of this back to the car and we'll kill some more plague zombies along the way. Ooh, we have a horde here. Well, this is a nice opportunity actually to show you that hordes are not that hard to take out as long as they are moving somewhere. Because these guys don't hear shit. They don't hear anything at all. And actually clearing out a horde also gives you an influence bonus, so that's nice. Alright, killing zombies awakened a plague heart. Crap. Alright, now when there's only one zombie left, it no longer counts as a uh, as a horde, so you can just take it out, or you don't even have to, but you know, it pays to do so. But now that we have a plague heart that has woken up, we are going to see multiple hordes spreading out throughout the map in its vicinity, and unfortunately that means it's going to start infecting buildings. And each building will come with a bloater and a screamer. That was on the normal difficulty anyway. They will actually physically travel across the map as well. Uh, so you can intercept them, which is really nice. But this is interesting because I didn't think that uh, killing zombies uh, in stealth... There we go, number two, finally. Uh, ...was actually going to trigger the heart into waking up. So... That is a little bit unfortunate. But anyway, it's only one Plague Heart. I'm sure we can manage if we uh, can stick with the plan and just work on getting the materials to make bombs and so on. And actually, at this point, I actually think the base should be done. Oh no, 13 seconds it will be done. And now we can start making some better materials to blow up this heart before zombies have too much of a chance to come over and react. And actually there's a lot of zombies suddenly. They kind of spawn out of nowhere, there's not much we can do about that. And clearing out an area doesn't uh, mean it's going to stay cleared out, because they just kind of pop back in, I guess. Which I don't mind terribly, like it means there's always a threat, always something to, to keep in mind. But, yeah, it also means that no matter what you do, there will always be enemies to fight. Also, when you don't need it. You cannot really make a safe path out when you're going on a dangerous mission, for example. Because by the time you're finished with the mission... Yeah. 
Bro, I'm trying. <laughs> Give me some time, I'm working hard. Or if I can't do it by collecting it like this, I might just have to go back over to base and grab a sample from storage. I'm pretty sure I still have another one. Anyway, we're pretty full here as it is. So actually, let me go ahead and uh, do that. I'll be right back. All right, dropping off some materials. And then we need to get at least one plague sample from storage. While I was gone? I guess we were due for a run of good luck. Uh, that's not the one that I need. This is the one that I need. Now, as for plague samples, we have a one in storage. So we'll go ahead and use that uh, to fulfill this quest, make some friends. Now, with this done, let us see. We can craft Molotovs because we have a knowledge of chemistry. Oh, that's okay. That's pretty good. We'll go ahead and grab that. Uh, we'll also take them with me. Uh, this is the storage again. My bad. I actually have 12 of these things. All right, so we might actually want to try to take out the plague hearts right about now. Uh, we'll take justice along because I never want to take out a plague heart by myself. That is always a bad idea. But now that we have nine plague uh, or a Molotov cocktails, I should be able to take out this plague heart, secure this territory and grab a uh, outpost for myself as well. That would be really nice. Now, I did see on the way back here a horde moving out, and I think it was an infestation horde. I'm not entirely sure. Hey, what is. Oh, she's using the back door. Oh, yeah, this is like the horde that I was looking at. And it's a big one. Oh, crap. Oh, that's the infestation horde right there. Holy shit. That is really terrible because it also had. Yeah, it had the, the, the bloaters and the screamers and everything. Alright, let me just uh, take care of this quest really quick. They seem to go the wrong way, so that's nice. Alright, we got 100 influence from that. And now we have a bunch of zombies hanging around the plague heart that I wanted to take out, so that is not great. But yeah, this we have here an infestation horde has one screamer, one bloater, and 13 regular zombies. And it's going to an unknown site, but probably one of these buildings, I guess. I'm not sure, though. Now we have another horde over here that we need to deal with. Now, she doesn't really have a great weapon. We might actually, in the meantime, while these guys are moving about, we'll have a look at these alive. people. We'll uh, learn about him. Assault, Endurance, Powerhouse. This guy's a great warrior. That is really interesting. Um... Page, cooking, shooting, fighting, everything is mediocre, but she has a skill, so that's nice. We have Weber over here, and this guy, oh, munitions, full skill munitions. Shooting really good, fighting really good, discipline really good, cardio really good. This might be a contender to recruit into our own base, definitely. All right, we're going to have to take care of this... Uh, this horde. Stranger. I should probably avoid him for now. Right. No, don't go into fight, goddammit. I wanted to uh well they're helping out anyway, so that's nice. Alright, working our way through this horde. Take care of the armored zombie right there. Nice. That actually went pretty well. Alright, I think it's time to take on this Plague Heart. The Horde is gone. Uh, it's a, as quiet as it's ever going to get, I think. And that's it right there it's in the corner. Ah, okay. oh, we got a Plague Sample. <laughs> that was the third one that I needed. Oh well, we've got it now. Get used to the smell. There it is. Looks disgusting, doesn't it? Well, let's get this thing started. 
We have some backup to keep zombies off of my back. In the meantime, I'll throw some Molotov cocktails. Oh, we have a Screamer back there. Alright, that is all part of its health gone. Come on, come on. We need quite a few. There we go. The Plague Heart is destroyed. With that... Oh, crap. Oh, Jesus. Let me uh, get out of here. That's a, that's a ghoul, a creep. These are special zombies. Really fast, really... Yeah, really horrible to fight. Headshot takes them out pretty quick, but... Yeah, they're pretty horrible. And then Axel's claiming the shop, which is... This group right there. Yeah, we can help them out later on. For now, um, the Plague Heart should have stopped uh, emanating this horrible thing that it does when it's dying. We get in hiking pack, neon green, but that's nice. I'll take it. A rescue knife will grab the bundle of munitions. Definitely all of those Plague Hearts. The pistol as well. An advanced toolkit. Definitely very nice. We'll grab all of it anyway. And I'm going to turn this into my first outpost. Once we enter this, yeah, this thing is now clear. We have an ammo outpost here. We're going to go ahead and claim this. Requires 300 influence, which we have. We'll claim it. And when we upgrade it, we can learn chemistry, which is really nice. But that is our first outpost and our first plague heart done. It could really be something. All right, now what is really nice, we can actually uh, drop everything. Except for this. We need to take that back to base. Another benefit is that we can search all the containers really, really fast. All right, we've got some more ammo. There's a lot of containers in this one, actually. We'll grab all the ammo that we can. We'll put it in storage. All the weapons that we can. Ooh, we got a Hunter's Model 70, a rifle with 7.62 ammo. That is nice as well. Uh, grab some more ammo. Now we do have one uh, more bag of munitions. We can actually put this Where bag <laughs> bomber hat. Uh, we can actually put this into the car and then we will grab the other set of munitions and we'll take that to the car as well. So I'll go ahead and do that and we'll drive back to base to deposit it and that is going to be the end of here. this video. Thank you guys so much for watching. Please do leave a comment below if you did enjoy this content and wish to see more. And I will see you guys for whatever video I do next. Crap, things are going wrong. I've just got the base and there's a giant horde waiting for me outside. God damn it. Oh man. Crap. Oh, the armored zombies are really screwing me over here. I need to reload. Oh, crap. Oh, Jesus. Oh, this is not good. Oh, this is not good. I need to go. I need this reload to get finished. I'm very low on health. This armored zombie has got to go. Oh, Jesus. Oh, I gotta take care of these armored zombies really quick. Oh, man. Oh Jesus, I took out the two bloaters at the very start because they were far off and easy targets, but Jesus, that was really horrible. This character nearly died. We have two severe injuries. She went down. She will have some severe injuries. Uh, man, that is not good. All right, we need to drive this car over to the parking zone. I'm really hoping some of the other characters will be a little bit healthier because, dear God, we need it. Right, we'll transfer this to base. Transfer those two things to base. This, that, and that. We'll dismiss you. 
and then it is time to switch to a different character because there's a string of numbers next to BOV. The numbers look like GPS. Oh man, no, no, nobody's in really good shape, but oh, we have William here as a hero. Uh, sufficient caution offers rooftop recon via the radio. Alright, he would be a builder if we make him our leader. But we'll go to Derek next, I guess. And this will really be the end of the video. <laughs> Thank you for sticking with me and I'll see you guys for the next one.